Tonight, I'm going to try a bait that I've never used before. A friend of mine gave me a deer's heart. To get a quick disclaimer out of the way, this deer was harvested here in Tennessee, so our wildlife agency doesn't have to worry about diseases being spread. Now, you can eat a deer's heart, and he sometimes eats them, but he donated it to me to see if I can catch a fish with it. I also have a deer liver, and I'm going to save this for another time. So click that subscribe button if you haven't yet to see what I catch with this liver another time. Now I've brought an assortment of fishing gear. I've got my 12 foot pole with a 10 knot hook. I've got my battle cat with a 8 knot hook. And I've got what I call my river rod with a 1 knot hook. In this waterway there's just about everything. But what I'm hoping for is a flathead catfish. This is fresh bait and flatheads like fresh bait. So I'm going to get this heart cut up and get it in the water. This looks like really, really good bait. I probably could have cut a bigger piece. And I'm going to cast this one off screen. Kind of got a limited amount of room of where I can actually fish here. It's always fun dealing with different types of rods and reels. Just a real tiny piece for the river rod. Oh man, that was quick. Didn't even have that rod ready. But he dropped it. I think he dropped it. Yep. Huh. Wow. That's a good sign. These pieces seem to be pretty hardy, so I bet it's still on the line. I'll give it a few before I reel it in and check it. Maybe here come back and grab it again. Well, it's been a little bit. I am going to reel this in and see if I have any bait left. Yeah, I get all the bait. I'm gonna cast it off screen again. You guys can watch my poles while I do it.
hopefully I will catch a fish tonight. That was actually a even better cast than the one that I did previously. It seems when you let the line sit, when you have your rod stored, it just kind of grips on the spool and doesn't want to come off. And I don't use this rod that often. But after a cast, loosens it up, makes it go further. At least we know there's one fish out there. Now if it would just come back. Well, we started out the night really good. And now, nothing. I've actually got just like tiny, tiny pecks on the Battle Cat, the white rod. And I had one like brief run on this, on the big one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this small rod and I'm going to try to cast between these two. Because apparently all the fish are over there and they're tiny. Still got my bait. See if I can do a precision cast here, not cross my lines. That should work. I've always been told that the best place to fish here is in between the two boat ramps over there. Because you have a creek coming out from the main river into this backwater area. However, as you see in this video, they put up a no fishing sign within 50 feet of the boat ramps. So I have to move 50 feet over here to fish. It is kind of understandable. I'm quite sure there's been some arguments between bank fishermen and boat fishermen as they're launching their boats. That just makes it harder to bank fish around here because these signs are popping up everywhere. That's why it's such a good idea to try to get a boat or even a kayak and just leave the bank and go fishing somewhere. Hopefully I can catch a fish here tonight. Paid off. <laughs> Making sure we're recording, but had a fish on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. fish off. Oh. I don't know why it didn't hook. Sharp hook. You know, there's a possibility that was a flathead. This is a traditional circle hook. And traditional circle hooks, they don't work with flatheads that well. And this is a really small, small circle hook. That fish had some weight to him. I don't have any small hybrids. So I just hope that he goes to another rod, maybe. Or that he has some friends with him. Put this one back out there. If anything, my little plan there worked out. Well, maybe the next one. might be able to barely see it on the video but there's fog rolling all over the water the water is definitely warmer than the air is right now we've had some really really odd weather we were having 80 degree nights in September and then all of a sudden literally an overnight change 40 degree nights it's been hot just way too late in the year and then just suddenly switched to cold so I have no idea what the fish pattern is going to be. It is kind of a good sign that I'm getting fish here. Usually what I see here is either absolutely nothing, turtles and tiny channel cats, or flatheads. And I'm 100% certain that that was a flathead 
that hit my rod. Now that first run of the night, I don't know what that was. That could have been a channel cap. Usually flatheads don't run like that. It's really been an interesting night. Now I have quite a bit of the deer's heart left, so I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep going. New night, different spot. Now that last spot that I was at in this same video, I get skunked there a lot, but I wanted to give it a try anyway, because I know there's channel catfish there sometimes. And I think that spot was quite successful with the one run right away and that fish that let go, which I'm 100% was a flathead. Now this is the spot with all the baby catfish. So this is a desperate attempt to at least catch something on the heart. And something's already playing with a big rod. I probably should have brought more small rods because they're just going to tear the bait off of these big hooks. But you never know, there might be a bigger fish lurking out there. So we will find out. <laughs> oh, the little ones. They seem to be picking on the long 12 foot pole, but they're not finding the small hook. If they would find the small hook, I'd have a fish. I also moved the battle cat out from in the cove. I'm positive now that the pattern has changed a lot here and probably everywhere else. night I wasn't even recording and then just huge hit on the battle cat Wow this is a good fish at least I think it is it's always fun fighting fish on the battle cat Might be a giant channel cat too. Hope he doesn't get in my other line. Looks like a blue to me. Whoa. This is a decent fish. Deer hearts work. Oh, it's not a monster fish, but to me, that's a respectable fish. Looks like I can reuse the deer heart too. That's good.
<laughs> He's got a lot of life in him. Beautiful blue catfish. I'm going to weigh him real quick. That is a very, very nice fish. 16 pounds. I think my personal best at this spot is 17 pounds. All right, I'm going to let this fish go. Maybe this is why the little ones aren't here. I tried to get this release on camera. Hopefully I won't go for a swim. There he goes. That's going to grow up to be a nice fish someday. Well, after all that struggle, we have a successful catch of a monster blue or a big blue. They get much, much bigger than that, but hey, great fish. I'm going to get that piece of heart back out there. I absolutely love catching fish on the battle cat. I think my cart held up better than my cooler. If that was my cooler, I would have lost a rod. What I think I'm going to do, I'm going to rearrange my rods. I'm going to put the long one out kind of where the battle cat is. And then I'm going to put the little one in the direction of the little hits. Maybe we can catch a little bitty one on film too. Still have a good chunk of heart on this one. I think I'm going to go off camera a little bit so I can cast this a little better. And hopefully not get tangled in my other lines. See if we can get another one. Oh, there. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think he got off again. Ah, oh. that is the second fish on this video. I get off my traditional circle hook. I really, really wish I could find a uh, hybrid circle hook that's one on. It's also possible this piece of heart caused it to not hook up. I'm going to have to rehook it and put it back out there. Oh no! Mind twist. I don't have too much longer. Hopefully I get another fish before I have to call it. Well, it's getting late, so I'm gonna have to reel up everything and go home. Using a deer heart as bait has been a success, although I've missed quite a few fish, mainly on the river rod. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up, and hopefully I'll get around to doing something with the deer's liver. So thank you for watching, and until next time. 